I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. I was inspired to make this video due to the recent developments of the Ish and Gigs controversy with Andrew Schwartz. And there was a bigger conversation that I think we need to have is the normalization of attack on black women. I think we've seen this for quite some time, especially on YouTube. And today, that situation was a climax, which I think that the conversation needs to be had. Now, first, I want to apologize to black women all over the world. And especially apologize to black women in the UK and in the US. And I want the US black women to know those wasn't American black men that said that. Them are UK boys. UK boys, particularly Nigerians or, or Ghanaians, whatever them boys are. Shout outs to shout outs to the Nigerians and Ghanaians. When I heard that, when he was saying I was eating jollof rice. I had to put the jollof rice down to hear what Farad and him was saying. I said, hold on now. Hold on now. They, they're not talking about American black women, are they? They can't be because they ain't from the U.S. They're from the U.K. So shout out. And so I apologize on the behalf of them because I don't think them brothers know better. Shout out to all the beautiful women out in the U.K., the Sierra Leone, the Guyanians the Nigerians, the Igbo, all of them. Love y'all food, love y'all culture. Shout outs um, to the Jamaican women that are out there. Shout outs to the Caribbeans who are out there. I know the sentiment y'all feeling, especially men who look like us, allowing for a joke to be like that. But this is typical for people who are not in our culture or in our community to speak about us this way. But I know that it's more disparaging to see men who look like us in that space laughing. Black women has always been the blunt joke of America. Some things and stereotypes that I say are rooted and false, argumentative, disrespectful, unladylike. These things are not true. Every culture has something negative about it. But I do think that me being as a black man and them being as, I can't say them being black men, but African descent, there's a difference. There's an obligation for you to protect the image, the likeness and the respect of women in our culture. My mother's black, my father's black, my nieces, my nephews, love them. Without the black women, we would not be here. Earth is called mother. Um, I'm not going to speak too much on Andrew Schultz. I don't know him. I know he's a comedian. Even if it was a joke, there's some jokes that are hurtful. Some jokes that can allow us to view things. But to be honest with you, I expect this from people who do not know us. They can have an opinion, but they really don't know our opinion. That does not say it's true, but we as black men have an obligation to stand firm and not allow these things to happen. Hey, man, that's not right to say that. I can assure you, black women, if it was a black American man there or a Caribbean man there, I don't think the joke wouldn't have got that far. I don't even think they would have had to cut that and clip that. I just want women to know that those are UK boys. They from the UK. There was no black American men in there. No boys from Alabama, Mississippi, Houston, and Texas. S somebody would have felt something. Hey, hold on now. What you said? But I do think black women deserve an apology. And I want to shout outs to the Pivot Podcast because they had a good commentary. Y'all go check that out there. Um, shout outs to them. They really said that and they really, um, they gave, con you know what I mean? And to be honest with you, I was a fan of Andrew Schultz as far as a comedian concerned. But there are some jokes that just are kind of tasteless, especially when it's dealing with a group that's been, um, um, I don't know how to use that word. I'm trying to say, um, um, I, I forget it, but you know what I mean? Particularly black women. Always been the blood on the joke. 
when it comes to whatever, they'll be blamed for everything. Being single mothers, being unmarried, when there's nuances to everything, why these things are like that. You know what I mean? And they're not praised enough. They're not respected. And I understand that. And a lot has to do with us as men. There's accountability that has to take that if the men would have respected the women enough, people in other communities wouldn't be able to talk about our women like that. We show enough can go talk about the women in Andrew Schultz community. We'll be shut down. Shut down. YouTube channels cut off and, and, and we'll never do that because we respect their women. We, we just want you to respect our women. That goes for any other culture, race, or even people in our culture. Please, if you don't have nothing nice to say, a black woman don't say it at all. There need to be a standard set, the way to be like, hey, what you said about black women, clip that up. Networks need to be follow suit. Hey, you want to know something? I don't think we should put this out here. Some people might not feel some kind of way. Because other communities will get your channel shut down if you spoke about their women. And rightfully so, it should be that. I don't need to say protect all women because the commu- the people in their communities are going to protect them. I have to take the, the route and say, let's protect black women. My skin complexion already tell I have an obligation. Even if you're not my wife or not my sister, you're just somebody who I met, but you look like me, you're a representation of my culture. I have to protect you. But I just want to assure black women, those wasn't U.S. men that did that. Those were U.K. boys. In the U.K., I'm asking y'all as my brothers. I know all y'all ain't like Farad and them. A lot of y'all stand-up brothers. Shout out to Leo Muhammad from the Nation of Islam in the U.K. Stand-up brother has always advocated for black women. My brother's from the Caribbean. Out in U.K., very advocate for black women in the uk i know farad and them boys don't represent the uk or the nigerian boys or the ghanaian men out there or the sierra leoneans or the zimbabweans i know the zimbabwe boys ain't gonna let nobody talk about black women like that we love our sisters and i'm definitely gonna marry a black woman that's without a question but it is hurtful it is hurtful to see that happened and to see a group of women are marginalized disrespected we've been seeing this for so long and this is why a lot of the jokers who was on youtube who had disrespect black women over the years are not here anymore their channels are demonetized this is not this is not what we're trying to do we need to set a new standard of no you can't say this about her this is not the content we're going to respect i apologize black women it hurts me to say that, to see this is, again, when I thought we was making strive on supporting them, praising them, advocating for them, and this and that. But this is a good conversation that has. Are we normalizing attacks on black women? Are we allowing people from other cultures to disrespect our women, my women? I sure enough ain't going to do that. You That conversation, when they had, that would have had to been clipped out erase an apology we had to been in the back y'all would have never even heard about that that would have never been put out there no it was like no nah, what you said you talking about black who no nah, that's not true we stand on the backs of black women it's a fact the black community stands on the backs of black women they holding us up right now and this is not to say this, but just look at it if you want to be statistically speaking. I'm just only speaking what I know. So I just say that, you know what I mean? Let's have this conversation. Is this normalizing? Are we normalizing the disrespect of our women? Are we normalizing, allowing other cultures to disrespect black women? When we talk about black women, black women all over the world, but particularly they was in the U.S., that has to stop. Ain't no, there's ain't no disrespect about black American women. We need to get that out the door. A lot of y'all need to start getting checked. And, and y'all from the UK, you, y'all from the UK coming here on y'all US tour, 
them doors got would have been locked. You lucky nobody ain't press the button and say, hey, don't let them boys in. No, 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 don't let them boys in. They 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 had a little issue when they was here back then. Who you talking about, them Peckham boys? Uh, they might be from Birmingham or Bingington, whatever they from. Who cares where they from? But they was here not respecting the cold. Stay on cold, homie. Yes, um, here in America, black women and black men have their issues. We're trying to figure that out. A lot of us wouldn't have let that happen. That would have got clipped out. And the brother with the dreads that's on that podcast, I don't know his name. I wonder if they viewed that clip before it went down and said, hey, you want to know something? Maybe we should clip that out. I know it's jokes. Jokes can be hurtful. Jokes from the 80s are hurtful. And they had to been apologize about that. There's just certain jokes that just need to be, especially uh, um, a group of people who have been marginalized. You know what I'm trying to say? There's certain things that are sensitive. You want to make jokes? Let's make jokes of everyday life. Not jokes that still are sensitive that we still deal with on an everyday basis. The image of black women is just a sensitive joke. The stereotype of black women is a very sensitive topic for young black women to women of, of age. They constantly have to be reminded of what they're not doing, how they're not women enough, how they're not um, women enough to be married. And then to say that it, it, um, they do this out of fear and all that, that's not even true. Black women are the reason that black men are in certain positions where they are. They advocate for us in so many ways. They're, even when it comes to prison reform, who are the women that are trying to get black men out? Black women. I can't speak about other cultures. I can say, you know, when I, you look down or you see the visits and who's been to prison or women at court cases and stuff, there's always been black women because they feel like they have a duty to this and we have a duty to them. I only say this with a heavy heart. Like, brothers, I seen your apologies, but you did not get straight to the point. Why didn't that video clip didn't get clipped out? Why did that have to let the go on air? You trying to get, no, there's nothing to laugh about. We're not laughing about nothing. There's nothing to laugh about this. These are about the people who support us. And let's be honest about that, um, them boys from the UK. A lot of your supporters are black women. You know that? A lot of your donors are black women. Y'all had to come out with that. Apologies. You looked at your analytics. You know it was 80% women that support you. majority of them are black. Because the people from the other cultures, you might think they like you. They don't like you like that. They might enjoy a clip or two. But they don't support you like the women do. One light-skinned brother, one dark-skinned brother. I, we know y'all black. Ain't no confused. I hope you don't think y'all from another community in the UK. We know y'all be at the, the them parade, them Caribbean day parades over there. We know y'all majority date black women out there, especially in the UK. Beautiful sisters. Love y'all accent. Love y'all accent. Fish and chips. But I just hope that we need to have a conversation, the normalization of the attack on black women. It just needs to stop. And, um, you know, I don't want to just go into a ram. I just want to say I apologize um, for all the sisters who strive to be better women, who's held the black community on their backs. I know this was just another needle to your back. As far as as hard as y'all try to be there for us, you hear men like this who look like us. And I know and I, I know I have to keep reiterating. They're from the UK. They're not from the U.S. That wouldn't have gotten that far. That wouldn't have gotten that far. And then we're waiting for other guys with bigger platforms to speak on this issue to be like, hey, you want to know something? That's why you got to shout out the Pivot Podcast. They, they didn't waste no time. They didn't waste no time. Shout out to them. You know, them, bro them brothers are from Florida, Mississippi. Love them boys. Th those are real. All them on there married a black one. You know what I'm saying? I'm black woman. I love you. We're going to be here for you no matter what. The men who do care about y'all. Um, 
It's Chaos Culture Radio. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We just want to create a safe place for black women. Thank you for watching me.